one second i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel in this video i will explain about what is resource tag and why we need that while creating a service in aws and how to use that in cdk as well as in cloud formation the prerequisite for this video is knowledge about cdk or cloud formation and some services in aws let's see about what is resource tag in simple term i can say it's just a property in aws service so that you can use that property to apply tags to resources which help you to identify and categorize those resources then let's see about why we need that as i said right tags can be helpful to manage or identify or you can search or filter the resources you can create the tag to categorize the resources based on some criteria let's see about what are some criteria and why we have to use this tags one is like for cost allocation so the cost explorer aws cost explorer will give you the detailed billing reports based upon your tax in the aws cost so you can have the tag like the business unit or environment or the project so you can have to have the detailed breakdown about your cost on the based on the tax next one is like tag for automation you can use the tag for automation also i can tell you an example suppose you want to start or stop the amazon ec2 instances during the non business hours means at the time the tag can be very helpful to identify the resources as well as like one more example like amazon ebs snapshots suppose if you want to delete the uh, delete or take the backup of the ebs snapshot the tags can be helpful to identify the resources and next one is like tag for access control the iam policies support the tag based condition so in iam user role or the permissions or policies you can include this condition to limit the ec2 api calls for specific environment for example for dev environment i want to limit the ec2 api call so that you can have the tags in the iam access control let's see about what this tag consists of so the tag consists a tag is like a kind of a key value pair the tag key both that key value pair is a case sensitive key in the sense like you can have the keys like the cost center or environment or project like mode name and all and value the respective value you can able to give it now let's see about what is the tagging categories or what are the effective ways you can make use of that so there are some tagging categories you can make best effective use of it one is technical tags which means you can have the taggings like name uh, environment or version and all next one is like automations as i said right you can have the uh, tag is like date time so that you can it is uh, very helpful in the automation scripts to identify the resources or otherwise the business tag for example you can have the project name or owner or customer or business unit like that you can have the tagging categories and in the next slide we'll see about what are the limits and requirements so in the uh, as per the tag right for each resources you can have the maximum maximum of 50 user created tags and in some resources you can able to see some tags that start with the prefix aws that are created by aws for aws use so that will not come on uh, come inside this limit and you can you can't edit or delete that aws created tags and next one is like each tag key must be unique and tag key and values are case sensitive and one more thing is like you can apply the tag only to the resources that supports tagging otherwise you cannot have able to add, add the tags and apart from this limit and requirements there are like for the each tag key right the length will be like minimum of 1 to maximum of 128 for the value it can be minimum of 0 to maximum of 256 characters and let's see about the best practices obviously the first point is like you, uh, we are not supposed to store the sensitive or confidential information and next one is like you want to create many tags rather than few tags so it will be helpful to filter the resources easily and next one is like you can use the tag guidelines or standardized uh, tool or standardized uh, for the uh, case sensitive format for tags and it should be unique across all the resource types so this are some of the best practices now let's get into the demo for how to create the tag in cdk as well as in cloud formation at first we can go with the cdk and this is my uh, cdk which i have created earlier and uh, i uh, explain about how to create the cdk in one of my video also so this is my cdk example stack inside this stack it will create a queue so now i want to apply the tag to this uh, services or resources means you can add it to the stack level itself if, if you add it to the stack level it will apply to all the resources that are in the stack let's see how to add it on so here it has a property called tags and here it has a key value type so what i can do is like i can give the properties the uh, key value in the form of key value so one of the tag is project i can give name as like demo iphone feb and next tag is like environment i can give the environment 
the value I can give is like sandbox. And I can add one more tag also. For example, the code. What I can do, give is like code. I can give it a CDK because this is in CDK. And I'm just saving it. What I can do is like I want to execute this one. So first I will build this code. npm run build. Before that, I'll see the cloud formation. We don't have any stack. The stack name is stack for demo tag pf. Okay, I will name it as CDK. This is from the CDK. I am again building it one more time, and after that, I will try to deploy it. And for deploying, we can make use of the CDK deploy command itself from here. For that, I can make use of CDK deploy command, and the stack name is CDK example stack, and I can make use of profile user IAM user. My IAM user is like Karthik IAM IAM. Karthik IAM IAM. That's it. It will first synthesize the stack and will start deploying the stack. Let's see what is happening over here. Yeah, it synthesizes and it start deploying. Now, if we refresh it, we can able to see it over here. I think for the cloud formation, we want to refresh the whole page to see. Okay, this is in progress. Meanwhile, we'll see how to create the tag in cloud formation. And this is my stack. And here, what I'm doing is like I have my stack over here, like create resource. And this is my create stack command. And here I am calling this uh, file YAML template file sample pipeline. And here it will have two resources. One is bucket and one more is queue. Similar like CDK, if you want to apply the stack level, you can have it like this: key project environment and the code is CF because it is cloud formation. I have given like this. And suppose and another way, I want I don't want to apply to the uh, to the stack level. I want to apply to the resource level means here each resources. Which supports the tagging, you can add it over here like this. So here you can add like this. So now this SQS queue will have five tags, include or including these two, the one, two, and here this three. So it will have this three. Now what I can do is like I want to deploy this tag. Let's see what will happen. I am making use of make command, make create resource. Just getting the resources, and it will create this tag. Now let's see. What is happening? Ah, it just started, and I'm refreshing it. Yeah, both are creating in progress. This one is from the CDK, and this one is from the cloud formation. Let's see from the CDK. From the CDK, it has only one resources, which is queue. Let's see in the cloud formation, this is creating, and here the stack information you can able to see here. See, this is the tags which I am sending over here: the code, environment, and the project name. Once it is created. Once it is created, you can able to see the queue. I will just refresh the queue over here. Let's see what's happened. Similarly, you can able to see the another stack also over here. The stack for demo tag CF is from the cloud formation. Again, you can able to see the tags. I'm just refreshing this page. It's getting refreshed. Let's see. Wait for a few more minutes. Yeah, okay. This is the queue. Let's see what is the queue name from the CDK. Okay, CDK test queue. Okay, this is from the CDK. If I go into this queue, you can able to see have the property called tagging. Here you can able to see that properties. See, this is the uh, tags which we have sent it from our CDK environment, project, and code. Okay, let's refresh the cloud formation. Okay, this one is completed, which is from the CDK, and from the cloud formation also it is get completed. Now let's see from the cloud formation. Okay, this is the cloud formation, and you can in the stack info you can able to see the tags. This is the uh, tags which we applied at the stack level, all from the cloud formation level. So these are the three tags which we have sent, like code, environment, and project. And now in the cloud formation, what we did is like we have created two stacks or two resources. One one is bucket and one is queue. Let's see what it has. Now I can go to my bucket, and uh, here if I refresh my bucket, it has my bucket name demo February 22. Now let's go into over here. Inside the properties, you can have the tagging. See here the tag, the project code and environment. And in, in the slide I explained you right, there are some tags which are created by AWS with the prefix AWS. These are AWS created, which is specifically used for AWS. It is reserved for AWS, and you can delete it. And this three project code and environment is created by us. And let's get into the queue. 
and the queue is like demo fibroid 22 sqsq if i go over here and inside the tagging you can able to see additionally to this project owner code i send it from the cloud formation command but this two environment this two business unit and owner i have created in the resource level uh, you can able to see it over here the business unit and the owner which i have created is from the resource level so this owner has been added so this are the way you can able to create the tags in cloud formation as cdk and as i mentioned right in the cost explorer you can able to see the resources based on the tag level so here you can able to uh, tag the level tag whichever the key values you can able to split down the resources based upon the tag and also in the resource group you can able to identify the or filter the resources for example you can add the key for example the key name is code so if i make the code as a key means what is the value i can give cloud formation so it will find out the resources so these are the resources which are created with the help of tag key cf suppose if i want to give another project name or i can give like environment as a to find out the resources so i can give the environment and the values sandbox so it will be helpful to preview the resources what are the resources it has created with the help of the tag so you can able to see with the help of this tag sandbox uh, en uh, environment uh, as a key and sandbox a value these are the resources it created one is s3 bucket and one more is q and this two are cloud formation and one more is q so you can able to filter the resources easily with the help of the tags so uh, in this video we explained about how to create tags and why we need the tag and how to make use of it in cloud formation and cdk if you have any doubts in this like why how to create the tag you just add it in the comment section i'll be very happy to help, help you guys thanks friends for watching my video